Hello, my name is Yeshim Shireli, and I'm the 2022-23 president of the American Society for Engineering Management. As part of our Industry Applications Spotlight series, our guest today is Dr. Trace Bishop. In this series, we will hear from members who utilize engineering management tools and techniques in various industries. Dr. Trace Bishop is an innovative and energetic quality and continuous improvement executive with extensive experience in highly regulated industries. Currently, Dr. Bishop is the Director of Quality and Regulatory Affairs for Davida Labs in De DeLand, Florida. He is responsible for creating the strategic direction of the quality organization. Key responsibilities include developing, implementing, maintaining, and continuously improving the laboratory quality management system. Before moving to Davida, Dr. Bishop held positions of increasing responsibility at Cayman Aerospace, Comtac Systems, Rockwell Collins, and Harris Corporation. Dr. Bishop is also a member of ASTM's Industry Advisory Board and the instructor of our Six Sigma Green Belt training program. Trace, thank you for joining us today. Could you uh, please tell us a bit more about the Vita Labs? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, how are you doing, uh, Yesham? Uh, thank you for, for having me today. Uh, yes, yeah, so uh, Davida Labs is the clinical laboratory for Davida Inc. And what Davida Inc. is, is a company that is uh, combating uh, the disease ESKD, which is end-stage kidney disease. And it affects about 800,000 uh, folks here in the United States. And once a, a patient gets ESKD, they really have two options to maintain life. Uh, one of them is to go on dialysis and the other one is to get a transplant. And so for uh, for our, our company, for DeVita, what we primarily have been focused on is the dialysis side. Now we're moving into the, the, the trans, uh, transplant side as well. But uh, for DeVita Labs, uh, once a patient goes on dialysis, we have about 3,000 clinics, dialysis, dialysis clinics throughout the United States. And uh, once folks go in when when they have to go in they're in there for about uh, three hours uh, each time and they have to go in for for three times a week and what happens is the dialysis machine functions as a kidney and as you you may uh, remember uh, what the kidney uh, primarily functions are is to remove toxins uh, from the body so once uh, the patients go go in there and they di they uh, do dialysis we take specimens uh, from them and they send those specimens to our lab in DeLand, Florida, which is right outside of, of Orlando. Uh, we do numerous tests on there to make sure that the blood markers are where they need to be and that their, their body and the treatment is, uh, the body's healthy and the treatments are working and we provide those back to our, our patients and their medical uh, care providers. Uh, in total, like I said, uh, again, there's about 800,000 ESKD patients throughout the United States. We have about 200,000 uh, patients uh, at the Vita Labs, and uh, uh, per year, it's about what 62 million plus tests uh, that we do. We have a beautiful facility in Deland, Florida. It's about 150,000 uh, square uh, feet. We have two fully automated lines uh, of analyzers and about 450 uh, teammates there. Wow! Well, thank you very much. Um, can you also let us know about the continuous improvement activities in Davida Labs and uh, how engineering management principles help improve processes in this context? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, continuous improvement is, is one of my passions. And one of the things that uh, attracted me to DeVita Labs is continuous improvement is one of the core values of the DeVita Labs. Uh, I myself uh, have been in aerospace and defense for the majority of, of my career. Only the past year have I I've been in healthcare. And one of the things that I noticed about healthcare is that healthcare is about 10 years behind uh, aerospace and defense in the continuous improvement journey. And so uh, at the lab, what we're really uh, focused on right now is building a army of, of problem solvers there. And so what we've done is we've partnered uh, with some folks in the lab and outside the lab to, to build what we're calling the Vita Labs Business Excellence. And what it really is, is a Lean Six Sigma Greenbelt training program 
for our lab teammates. And, and it has been uh, really a, a lot of fun. But there, there were, you know, we focused on critical success factors for uh, our program. And some, we have really three factors that we think differentiate our program from other programs that are out there. Uh, one of them, one of the criticisms that is often thrown at uh, Lean Six Sigma practitioners is that it stifles innovation. So we wanted to have something in our program that really helped to support innovation. So we have a module in there uh, with design thinking, and that's been a, a lot of fun. Uh, the second thing is we have industry recognition. We partnered with the Council of Six Sigma Certification. Uh, they've reviewed our course curriculum, our content, the way that we uh, delivered it, our, our exam questions, and they have sponsored us. And so we're actually now a training provider for uh, the CSSC, which is the Council of Six Sigma Certification. And the thing that's really cool about that is once our teammates, we call our employees at DeVita teammates rather than employees, once our teammates get certified through the lab, they'll also have a certification through CSSC. So we thought that that was a, a really a neat thing that we could do uh, for them. And then uh, the, the last thing that I'll talk about is we incorporate experiential learning into our program. Uh, most uh, Lean Six Sigma Greenbelt programs out there are about 40 hours of training, uh, so is ours. About 36 uh, of those hours are uh, short videos online that we, we've created. But we have six hours of live sessions, experiential learning sessions, where we go through, we work through different types of, uh, of tools and projects uh, with our teammates, such as um, uh, SPC or uh, project management, how to do a fishbone diagram, uh, getting folks comfortable with statistics through using catapults, kind of shooting them across the room. Uh, so those were, were, were three of the, uh, the big uh, takeaways, I guess, from our program. But we're really starting that journey and, and and Lean Six Sigma Continuous Improvement at DeVita Labs. And I'm very, very happy to be uh, uh, the point of the spear uh, for that. Sounds like you've been busy. <laughs> it's, it's been a lot of fun. It's been a lot of fun. That's all, you know, all sounds really wonderful. <laughs> um, any advice for engineering managers who are either working in the healthcare field or interested in stepping into this industry? Well, I'll... Uh, when I think about this question, it took me a while to transition from aerospace defense into healthcare. So if I could go back three years ago and talk to myself, I would say that, you know, take the lead. You know, there, there was a lot of opportunity in healthcare. It's very, very rewarding, uh, first of all. Uh, and, you know, a lot of the, the, the skills and the abilities of engineering managers, you know, I, I think about the body of knowledge, right? So for, for uh, engineering managers, when I think about their things in quality management, there are things in project management, in operations and supply chain, facilities, the list goes on and on that are transferable from one industry to the other. So I would say that there is a lot of opportunity and just please uh, come and come and take the leap. Yeah, it sounds like there's a gap there in healthcare industry and it needs to be filled with engineering managers. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for joining us today and for your contributions to the engineering management profession as well as the healthcare industry. No, thank you for having me. This concludes our interview. Uh, this spotlight series will continue with industry insights from other ASCM members. So please check back soon.